What's up guys, Adam here, welcome back to another AC Milan career mode, this is episode number 31, sorry this video is coming out so late, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, we're in 4th place with 55 points, and the teams above us are Lazio and Bologna, Bologna, we're level on points with them, and Lazio, they are in 2nd place by 1 point, I'm pushing for that 2nd or 3rd spot, because like I said, I want to be in Champions League, I think the Scudetto is so far out of reach right now, because Juve are just completely smashing the table, 23 victories, 6 draws, 1 loss, and just, the, they're completely destroying the Serie A this season. But we're there. We're in the Champions League. And today we have two international fl friendlies. And then we play against Juve. Hope to stop that run of victories they have. And then we are playing them in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So, two very important games that I really want to I, I really want to play and win. But uh, it's going to be very, very, very tough. So, yeah. Let's do this. We're going to be starting off with some chill international friendlies. One against Portugal and one against the Netherlands. You know what? I think I'm going to simulate this away match because whatever. It's just a friendly when it comes down to actually qualifying and all that stuff. Qualifiers. Then I'm going to play the matches. So let's go against Portugal. Let's fix up our lineup. And yeah, let's see if we can walk out of here with a victory. Okay, so we're going to be going with a 3-5-2 formation or a 3-4-1-2 if you want to be a lot more specific. We're going to be going with Donnarumma, Acerbi, Bonucci, Chiellini, Florenzi, Berardi, Giorginio, Verazzi, De Cilio, Balotelli, and Manolo Gabbiadini. And uh, Balotelli is back in the Italy lineup. Don't know why Verratti has number 43 and Balotelli Kicks us off with a goal in the 13th minute. Very, very happy for him. Even in real life, he's been doing well. And I think now he's injured, so I'm not sure. PZ and Oliveira have scored, so we're down 2-1. Florenzi draws the game back, level at 2-2. Uh, El Sharawi is coming on for Balotelli. And El Sharawi is going to get himself a goal. Ronaldo is going to pick himself up a yellow card. And we're going to walk out of here with a 3-2 victory to start off our Italian managerial campaign, even though it is a friendly. Line up for the second match, we're going to be going with the 3-4-1-2, and we're playing some of our Milan players with Pere, Acerbi, Bonucci, Romagnoli, Verratti, Zabacosta, Saponara, Marchisio, Bonaventura. So Bonaventura is playing as the left midfielder, uh, Saponara as a midfielder, and Zabacosta as the right-sided player, Gabbiadini, who picks himself up a goal in the fifth minute, and Belotti, and that's our starting 11. We do have Rugani on the bench. And Rugani did come on last game. And as I'm talking right now, Belotti has scored. And Gabbiadini has scored once again. It's 3-1. Willems has scored for the Netherlands. Uh, Rugani is coming on. No injuries so far. Romagnoli still on. Saponara picks himself up a goal. And that's a 4-1 victory. This is a very strong Italy side. And another victory for me as the manager. It's a simulated match. But now, let's get in to the most important time in our season. We have a game coming up against Juve, and I want a victory. Tonio Casade has now increased to a 61 overall, and yeah. <laughs> One of my youth players want out, and it's Alessio Giordano, and how many fullbacks have we been scouting? You guys have seen that in, obviously, through the past couple of episodes. We have a lot of fullbacks, so Alessio Giordano, he's a very, very good player. Uh, 61 overall, 80 to 86 potential, so let's offer him a senior contract and put him on the loan list as I usually do. Future first team player, 500 per week, 3 year contract. Okay, we've dropped down to 5th, but that's only because Napoli is now in 2nd place with 57 points. And if we pick up a victory here, we can actually surpass them. So let's do this. Let's see if we can take down the 1st place team in the Serie A, Juventus. Now if you guys do remember, Suzo is actually injured for three months so on the right hand side we're gonna have to find someone to replace him i wanted to play el Gazzi, but i wanted niang in the lineup and also the pie so donnarumma calabria rugani romagnoli rodriguez schneiderlin mauri bonaventura niang belotti and memphis the pie we've done it once before we can do it again we have beat juve we can do it again here in front of our home fans let's give the san siro a good showing and try to redeem ourselves from those two losses last time out and try to move back up the table. Nice block by Schneiderlin. Now, let's see if we can give it back. Morgan Schneiderlin to Memphis Depay. Once teammates. Now Belotti. Here's Andrea Belotti. Andrea Belotti outside the box. Just over the bar. He had somebody blocking him. But a great strike by Belotti. Just inches over the bar. Buffon 
Had to dive to make the save on that one, but didn't. Memphis, hold it up for Rodriguez. Who's coming forward? Rodriguez into Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Here is Niang. Niang on the ball. Bonucci is way too good. Mauri has got Belotti, but give it into the middle to Bonaventura. Now Bonaventura to Belotti. Belotti is there. Jimenez with the block. Bonaventura trying to take a shot. It's blocked. Chiellini clears that one away. And Juve just fighting to get the ball out of their half. Cuadrado on the wing. He's got Rodriguez on him. Keep him there. Keep him there. Don't make him cross it in. Do not make him cross it in. Nicely done, Ricardo. And do we have something? Nope. Referee's gonna blow for halftime. We've pretty much, I guess you could say, dominated maybe in possession and a little bit shooting. But Juve, defenders are everywhere. Chiellini and Bonucci are not letting me do anything. Here's Bonaventura. Bonaventura to Rodriguez. Rodriguez back into Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Belotti. Belotti. Who's that coming forward? That's going to be Schneiderlin. Morgan Schneiderlin. Let's go for the shot. Schneiderlin. Gianluigi Buffon. Great save. Lemina. That one's in. Calabria. No. Get this ball out. Donnarumma. Get to that one. Nicely done, Donnarumma. Donnarumma. Throw it up. Mauri. We need a change. We need a change. And soon. Here's Bonaventura to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin has got Belotti. That's a good ball in Belotti. Belotti. Bonaventura. Jimenez. Great block. Bonaventura. Mauri. Mauri. Here's Niang. Niang cross this one in. Who's coming there? Bonaventura! 84th minute. Finally. We've scored past this Juve defense. Niang with the unselfish cross into the middle. And Giacomo Bonaventura seemed to have came out of nowhere for that one. And Jack Bonaventura is going to be scoring his second goal. Only his second goal this season after 31 matches. And in the 85th minute, we've taken the lead. Now it's going to be time for a substitution. So I swapped to a 5-2-1-2. De Chilio is coming on as a center back. And Locatelli is coming on in place of Jose Mauri. Get back. Watch the shot. Great save. Donnarumma. Komen is there. Donnarumma with another save. Donnarumma didn't have to do much this game. But a shot from outside the box. Was almost a scoring chance for Juve. And Coleman almost heads that one in. 90th minute corner. I do not like this. I do not like the sight of this. This one's whipped in. Who's there? And he's going to head that one wide. That's going to go off for another corner. How? I thought that might have been a goal kick. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Get this out. Get this away. Higuain heads that one away. And that's going to be the end of this match, boys. We have beat the first place team. Juve by a scoreline of 1-0. Goal scored by Giacomo Bonaventura. And what more do you want from this Milan side? I know we lost the past two games, but we've come back. What an incredible victory here. We pretty much, I don't think we dominated possession, but like the opportunities and the time in their half, we pretty much dominated. Four shots on target. They had two, and I think they were the last two shots of the game. Alessio Giordano has accepted his contract offer and is now a first team player. Kuchka is unhappy about his role at the club. He's going to be playing in the next match. And Ricardo Rodriguez is happy that I played him in the last match. And now we do have our monthly scouting update. Let's go take a look at what we've actually got. Alessio Conti, 15 years old, 53 to 71 overall with a potential of 78 to 94. He looks like something special, maybe a right-sided player. Let's sign him up and reject all of the other players because it doesn't look like they're going to be anything special in the future. Santoro has now increased to a 62 overall. He is the center back that I think I made comparisons with Maldini because he can play center back and left back and he gets a B on one on two defending. Manuel Locatelli would like to discuss his wages. He's now 20 years old and he would like to be paid a lot more than he's actually getting paid right now, which is understandable. He's been playing a lot of games this season and like I said, he's going to be vital now and in the future, let's go take a look at what he's currently making and offer him a new contract. He's making 20k per week. He wants 25k per week. So that's exactly what I'm going to offer him and a sporadic first team player squad role. Next match coming up against Udinese and I don't want to check where they are on the table because I usually do that and it ends up in a loss. Let's jump into it away from home before the very important match again against Juve. Lineup Donnarumma, Zapacosta, Gomez, Romagnoli, De Chilio, Schneiderlin, Locatelli, Kuchka, Elgazzi, Lapadu. And Niang. Udinese, okay, they're in 8th place, so they're doing pretty well. 13 victories, 10 draws, 8 losses. We're in 2nd with a 16 goal differential and 58 points. We've now taken the 2nd spot and level on games with uh, most of the people behind us. So yeah, let's do this. Labadula is in the starting 11. Let's see if he can snatch himself up a goal. De Chileo to Kuchka. Kuchka, Labadula, Labadula, Locatelli, Locatelli. 
Get this one to El Gazzi. Here's Anwar El Gazzi. Take this one in. Nicely done, but he still has it. Into the middle. Locatelli, Locatelli to Lapadula. Lapadula, the finish. And Gianluca Lapadula scores once again when I play him. 37 minutes in. We've taken the lead. El Gazzi doing a lot on that one into Locatelli. Locatelli, the initial pass was for Niang, but it found its way to Gianluca Lapadula. And he's going to be scoring his fourth goal of the season, which matches his real life record this season. And we've taken the lead 1 0. Yang Locatelli, good back heel. Locatelli to El Gazzi. El Gazzi, Zapacosta. Zapacosta, early cross in. Who can get there? Nobody. That was a good idea by Zapacosta. And a good little, I guess, run up from Niang with the back heel. Let's give this one into El Gazzi. Anwar El Gazzi on the wing. Into Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin, Zapacosta. Zapacosta, Kuchka. Kuchka. Kuchka, you know what? Let's go for a shot outside the box. Kuchka takes the shot over the bar. Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin. Still on the ball. Hold it up. Hold it up. Nice, Kuchka. Kuchka, Lapadula, Lapadula, El Gazzi. El Gazzi back out to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin, hold it to El Gazzi. El Gazzi into the middle. Locatelli, Locatelli. Let's find the shot. Here's Kuchka. Kuchka takes the shot. Good save by Karnizis. And I'm going to be taking off some of the players that I'm going to play in the next match. So Niang is coming off. In comes the pie. Uh, Schneiderlin is going to be coming off for Jose Mauri. And that's about it. Here's the pie. The pie. Whip this one in. That one's close to the keeper. And he's forced to punch it away once again. Let's see what we can do off this corner. Here's El Gazzi. El Gazzi out wide to the pie. The pie into Locatelli. Locatelli takes the volley. It was like a little half volley. And Locatelli makes a mess of that one. And there's three minutes of added time. Let's hope the referee will blow the whistle soon. Because you all know what happens. That's the end of this match. A 1-0 victory. Goal scored by Lapadula. And another big three points. Now we do have the first leg of the quarterfinal coming up against Juve. Lombardi and Casade have both increased an overall. Lombardi is now a 59 and Casade is now a 62. Baca is not happy with his current situation at the club. Like I said, he was going to play the Champions League matches. And that's pretty much all he was going to play. His real life performances and his real life attitude is driving me to not even pick him in the game. But he scored last time in the Champions League and I think he's going to be picked for this match against Juve. Manuel Locatelli has declined his contract offer because he would like a greater squad role at the club. You're 20 years old. I get it. You're good. <laughs> I'm not taking anything away from you. But uh, I honestly don't think I can promise him anything else besides maybe a squad rotation player. So let's try one year, 25k per week, and a squad rotation player. This is the most random email ever. Hi boss, just wanted to thank you for restoring me to the team. It means the world to me to play much more frequently. And he's out for three months. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Let's jump into this match at the San Siro. This is going to be the biggest game of this episode. Lineup Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Schneiderlin, Saponara, Bonaventura, Niang, Baca, and Memphis Depay. Player to watch, Ricardo Rodriguez. He's been in excellent form, like absolutely incredible form since I brought him in. And I think that's one of the biggest signings I've made. Besides, I don't know, maybe Kovacic. Kovacic, who's injured. Suzo, just absolutely incredible. I didn't make the signing, but I'm just naming players who are... Very good. They have Higuain and Zaza. They also have, uh, I think that's Lemina, Cuadrado, and uh, just pretty much the same lineup as last time. I'm pretty sure. And I'm playing Saponara over Mari because uh, I want Saponara to play a lot. He's a good player. And I think he's more of an attacking midfielder, which sucks because we do only have one holding mid and it's Schneiderlin. But yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Here's Cuadrado on the wing. Cuadrado, Rodriguez, easy for him. And then gets taken down and the referee doesn't call anything. Yang into Baca. Good ball, Baca. Schneiderlin, Schneiderlin out to Depay. Here's Memphis on the wing trying to take this one in. Maybe take a long shot. Here's Depay. Depay takes the shot. Depay takes the deflection and Buffon saves that one with great reflexes. In this match, honestly, all I really want is... You know, the victory, obviously, but if I could limit them to no goals, then I'd be very happy. But, uh, yeah, even last time, they were pressing for goals, and we just need to stop that. Here's Saponara. Saponara, Baca, Baca, Schneiderlin, good ball. Here's Morgan Schneiderlin. He's being closed down. Schneiderlin takes the shot, and Morgan Schneiderlin uses the Ronaldo celebration to shush the UEFA fans. And 18 minutes in, we've taken the lead 1-0. Great ball in by Baca to just find Schneiderlin, and Schneiderlin just walks into the box, finishes to the left of Gianluigi Buffon, 
And the man who came here in January scores his first goal in the Champions League, 19 minutes. It's 1-0. Just shadow him, keep him on the wing, keep him on the wing, keep him on the wing. He's probably going to try to cut back on that wing. Plays it into Zaza and Rodriguez is there. Rodriguez, let's give this one to Niang. Niang, no, no, come on boys, come on boys, don't. Oh my goodness, I just saw my freaking light flash before my eyes. Come on boys. <laughs> I was trying to be so cool with <laughs> Rodriguez that I gave away the ball. Rodriguez into Baca, Baca, that's a good ball to Memphis. Here is Memphis taking this one and gets taken down and that's a penalty. That is a penalty. Barzai takes down Memphis Depay. And in the 30th minute, we are going to get ourselves a penalty. And we're not going to have Niang, you know, arguing with Lapadula to take this one. Because Lapadula is on the pitch and it's not in real life. Barzai takes down the pie, And Niang is stepping up to take the penalty. Who's our best penalty taker? It's going to have to go down to Baca because he is our best penalty taker here. Here's Baca. Baca. Let's go top right. Let's go top right. And Carlos Baca scores once again in the Champions League. And that's why I love him. I know it's a penalty, but I know he can finish. Puts that one into the back of the net. And this game is 2-0. 30 minutes in. Juve had no idea what hit them. That might be his third or fourth goal in the Champions League. And it's 2-0, 30 minutes in. Here's Kedira, Kedira, Quadrado, Quadrado on the ball, Quadrado trying to think of something before the half. Zaza into the middle, Romagnoli bites, here's Lemina into Quadrado, Bonaventura, good block. Everybody is defending, everybody, Saponara, Saponara, Schneiderlin, Schneiderlin, Depay. This is how we move up as a unit. Baca is back for some reason, back to Calabria, Niang, Niang, Baca, Baca, Schneiderlin, Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin out wide to Depay. Memphis take this one in around Barzai. Here's Memphis. Memphis. Good block by the defenders. And oh my goodness. We are showing what we can do in this half. <laughs> we have two goals. Maybe could it be even more. Calabria. Good block. And that's the end of the first half. 2-0. Goals by Schneiderlin and Carlos Baca. Get it to the second half. And I would like another goal here. Probably going to try to take it in. Watch the cross in. Good block by Rugani. Higuain. Donnarumma. Easy save. Before Donnarumma. Throw this one to Niang, Niang to Baca, Baca. Let's give this Saponara. That's a good ball. Bonaventura. Here's Jack. Jack out to Depay. Depay into Schneiderlin. Good ball. Schneiderlin to Saponara. Saponara into Baca. Baca, let's go for the... Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe he would have taken it with his right foot. He took it with his left and an easy save for Buffon. So I, so I can see right now Juve are already on either ultra attacking or all out attack. Schneiderlin. In for Baca. Here is Baca. Let's take this one in. Baca out wide for Niang. That's a good ball in. Niang on the ball. Niang tries to take the shot. Niang gets blocked. Saponara to Calabria. Calabria into Baca. Baca, Saponara. 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 Take this one to Baca. Baca, Bonaventura. Here's Jack Bonaventura. Can he make it three? Bonaventura. <laughs> 90th minute. Baca gets his second assist. He was involved with all three goals. Picking himself up the goal and two assists. And Bonaventura finishes in the 90th minute. Looked like a very tight angle. But there's his first goal in the Champions League. 90th minute. It's 3-0, boys. It's 3-0 against Juve. The first match was a 1-0 victory. And that's the end of this match. We've taken down the first place team twice in this episode. And it's not over yet. We have three home goals. They have no away goals. That's not Allegri. But I'm happy, we got the victory, and we are in a very good position to go into the next match at Juventus Stadium. Six shots, five on target, they had five shots, four on target. I think Donnarumma had a fantastic game, made four saves, Baca with a 9.6 match rating. He had two assists and one goal, and we pick up a 3-0 victory. That is the end of this episode. Next time we have a game against Sampdoria and the second leg. We're in second place, 61 points. Lazio right behind us with 60. Napoli 57 and Bologna 55. So we're in a decent position. We just need to continue picking up victories. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.